Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to configure uh, SDFGI to have better quality lightning and if you want to play with the energy and the cascades or the bounce feedback you can do that and get some awesome results but let's go to the video Hello everyone, so there is this video on YouTube comparing Godot 4 SDFGI versus Unreal 5 Lumen and this video is a year and a half old and let me explain to you what is happening here in this scene because in this video we're going to achieve the level of fidelity in global illumination that you get from Unreal Engine 5 but in Godot 4. So the main problem that we can see in this video is there is a lot of uh, light leaking when the sun rotates under our scene. We have this square with a round object with metallic and roughness and there is some debanding on the floor here and you can see there is when the sun is under this floor and it's lining directly under it the light from the green floor is leaked to the walls and the same happens when light from the other side uh, gets in here as you can see as you can see at this moment the sun is going to be behind these walls and you can see there is light leaks the blue and purple uh, side of the walls and this won't happen when Unreal Engine Lumen gets in, in uh, this scene here we have the same scene and as you can see when the sun is, go is below the walls the scene gets completely dark and when the sun goes behind the walls there is absolutely no light bleeding but you see there's completely dark but we're going to achieve this and i'm going to show you how to configure sdfgi the in the best possible way here is the original scene because the producer of that video uploaded the scene and i'm using godot beta 11 so first of all, I'm going to go to my world environment and I'm going to make the source of the ambient light on the sky so it can read the sky energy on my scene. And you can see there is some jagging on the walls. That means my, my scene is running without any post-processing filters, but we can enable those uh, on the project settings on our anti aliasing no processing it doesn't have anti alias and you can enable the advanced settings but i'm going to enable the msaa on average the screen space and maybe this one as well the temporal anti alias but i'm not sure we need that and you can see when we do those when you do those things well the performance is going to drop a little but our scene is going to look much much better so this is our scene i'm going to run this scene and you can see the the scene is not black yet so i'm going to make this scene black and for that we have an our environment a background mode set in clear colors i'm going to we can set it on sky if we want to the sky but I'm going to set it on custom color and change it to black so we have our sky completely black. All right, we have our scene running, but our material over here is not reflecting any light still. So this is the configuration that our node world environment has on SDFGI. It is enabled. However, we have some problems with uh, the configuration. So first of all, the cascades is set very low. It's set on two. And while this can improve our performance, it will make the game have 
worse lining so i'm just going to reset it and with it i'm going to reset all of this once i reset the mean cell size and the cascade distance you can see our ball has reflections as it's supposed to do now if we run our scene we will notice that there is like no reflective light maybe a little over here but sooner than later there will be some light leaks going from under our floor and there's a video that Juan Linetsky uploaded in showing FDA FGI and the first thing he says is that uh, walls have to be thicker and maybe the art team of the game needs to change stuff about it but yeah your walls need to be thick if you want to use SDFGI for global illumination especially in interior scene so I'm going to make this place a little bit thicker on each wall and you will notice that that that, li that light leaks are disappearing completely all right we're going to go down the sun is still up it's still up and yeah nothing happens yet we can see still a lot of light leaks and this is because or why is why is skull over here it's set on 100 percent and we can see how this setting changes or or scene i'm going to set it so we can see our sdfgi probes and here they are the eight they are these little circles over here i'm going to move my rotation of the sun and this is what sdfgi uses to calculate how is the light going to bounce on our scene and these little little bubbles uh, we can tell the world environment node to be closer or more sparse and the y scale makes it more sparse on the y axis so if i turn it down it's going to be more compact and the game will be able to calculate lightning more precisely and if i turn it up they will be more sparse on the y-axis exactly what this says so i'm going to set it to the default which is balance and let's see how these changes are lightning now let's let's go down one more time and we can see how the light leaks are reduced incredible so it's going down down and there is almost no light leaks uh, only for the reflected reflective material but there is like no light leaks we can even fix this uh, error on the reflective material and we can see there is still a little bit of light leak over here but if you really 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 want some better uh, lightning i'm going to disable this because our performance is taking a bit hit and we can even see our cascades which the, the cascades are how godot calculates the lightning if you go near or far from the scene you can see if you go near the lightning is calculated more precisely than if you go go far from the scene in your camera so those are the cascades i'm going to change my, my son to how it was before and these are the light leaks that are bothering us you can see that the sun is hitting directly from this side and there is some light leaking so we can use the use of occlusion to turn a little bit those off but definitely the thing that would help us the most is making our wall thicker you can see that's the trick over here 
you need your walls pretty thick, especially if you are working with a interior scene that has lining going from the sun. So once that's fixed, there is no light leaks over here. Let's turn. Let's even change this a little more. Oh, what is that green line over there? Ah, oh, don't worry. That's my my axis over there. That's the Y axis drawing on my scene. We can even tell the SDFGI to ignore the skylight if we really think we need it. Or we can even multiply the energy to make the scene glow even uh, harder to have more indirect lightning bounces. If we have problems with our shadows, uh, we can change the bias uh, to make them look even better. Let's go to our indirect lightning and we can change these, these settings on the shadow, the normal bias. Uh, to make them look even even better. It's just a matter of playing with it and see what works, what doesn't work. Everything is pretty well documented. If you hover your mouse on your settings, you can see, you can read what each setting does. And that's one of the great things that Godot has. So I'm just going to drop the scene here and leave the video as it is and i'll see you on the next one bye bye